Juan. Mr. Speaker, this government's tax increases are causing a national unity crisis, and those tax hikes will target those who can least afford to pay. Now, the Prime Minister knows that more carbon tax increases will divide our country further and make life even less affordable. But this Prime Minister has taken the same approach all along, to raise taxes on working people, put basic necessities like transportation and food out of reach, and then try to politically exploit the division that results. So will this government change course and cancel their planned tax increases on Canadians' paychecks? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I spent some time in Alberta this summer, and I have some very clear views on who is trying to divide Canadians. Now, Mr. Speaker, I have a question for the members opposite when it comes to the price on pollution. Because the reality is, we are putting money back into the pockets of Canadians. So will they ask Ontario families to pay back $745 this year? Do they want Alberta families to pay back $1,079 this year? Saskatchewan families, $1,100. Honourable Member for Sherwood Park, Fort Saskatchewan. Mr. Speaker, is this real life? Because that answer was pure fantasy. We have inflation landslides and no escape from poverty. When will the Prime Minister, open up his eyes and see he's not a poor boy, but he should have some sympathy for too many Canadians. Opportunity had just begun, and now this government is going to throw it all away. Money is not easy come, easy go in this economy. So when will the government cancel their plan tax increases on gas, home heating, and groceries, and spare us from this inflation monstrosity? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. be wanting to spare Alberta families a check for $1,079, which is what they are getting because of our carbon pricing scheme. And I also want to remind the member opposite that it was an Albertan. I'm, I'm just going to interrupt for a moment. Uh, I, I'm having a hard time hearing, and I'm sure many other members in the chamber are having a hard time hearing as well. And, and I know everyone's excited to be back, but this is the second day back, so I'm sure everybody will learn to calm down and think that. Uh, we don't want to repeat the question, but I'll ask for a repeat of the answer. Thank you. Uh, from the top, uh, the Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Okay. Uh, so, Mr. Speaker, what I would like to ask you and through you all Canadians is whether the member opposite, who is an Alberta MP, is really suggesting that our government stop paying $1,079 to every family in Alberta this year. I think the people in that member's riding could really use that support, and I think they appreciate it. And I think they remember that it was Preston Manning who advocated strongly for a price on pollution.